Welcome to the channel. In this video, we are going to have a look at how to caption an image by using this tag GUI. Plus, we will be integrating the much celebrated Florence model with it. And then we will caption a custom image data set, our own images, with the help of this. We will also be seeing from step by step instruction from scratch as how to get this tag GUI installed on our system. You can use the same instructions for any operating system including Linux, Windows or whatever you are using. Captioning an image data set means adding textual descriptions or annotations to each image in the data sets. And these captions can include information such as labels of the objects that such as dog, car, tree or whatever there is or even scene description such as beach, city, street, park or actions or events like running, jumping, driving or emotions or sentiments like happy, sad and angry. Captioning image data set is essential for various applications such as image classification, image search, visual question answering, AI machine learning model and there are a lot of other tools for it. As far as this tag GUI is concerned or tagging graphical user interface, it is a tool for annotating and captioning image data set. It provides a GUI for labeling images with bounding boxes, class labels and other relevant information. Tag GUI is designed to make the annotation process more efficient and user friendly and it supports various image annotation tasks such as object detection, segmentation and classification and we will be installing it locally and then we will see how to use it. And as I mentioned earlier, we will be integrating it with the Microsoft Florence model. Florence 2 is an advanced vision for foundation model and we already have covered it in great detail on the channel. So if you want to get it installed locally, if you want to fine tune it, if you want to run it in the browser, just search the channel with Florence and then you should be able to find heaps of videos. And as I said, Earlier, Florence 2 is an advanced vision foundation model that uses a prompt based approach to handle a wide range of vision and vision language tasks. Florence 2 can interpret simple text prompts to perform tasks like captioning, object detection and segmentation and there is a lot more to it. So please watch these videos to get started with it. Before I show you the installation of this tag GUI and then we go from there, let me give a huge thanks to Mast Compute for sponsoring the VM and the GPU which is NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. If you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video description and I will also give you a coupon code of 50% discount on range of GPU so to check them out. Okay, so let's first install this tag GUI locally on our Ubuntu system. You can use the similar instructions for Windows. So in order to get it installed, the easiest way is to go to their GitHub repo and I will drop the link in video description. And then on that home page, just you see this is plus 47 releases. Maybe click or to right click it and open it in the new window and you will be presented with this screen. Go with the latest version and at the moment of this video's making, we have this latest version 1.29. And these are few of the assets. You can see it is available for Linux. It is available for Windows. So whatever your operating system is, simply just download it by right clicking and saving the link as and is going to download it on your local system. So I'm using Linux. So I'm just going to use this one. I will just say save link as and I'm just going to save it maybe in my home directory and then I'll click on save and it is going to download it and save it as you can see on the top right it is doing it so let's wait for it to finish and you can see that this zip file is in the 7-zip format so we need to install 7-zip installing 7-zip is quite straightforward all you need to do is to go to 7-zip's uh, website and then you can either just download their exe or you could uh, use another system so let me go there and maybe i'll just open my another window in the terminal instead of this one let me get out of this conda environment let's clear the screen now what we are going to do here is we are going to install the 7zip software on ubuntu 
and command to install it is this sudo apt install p7 7 zip dash full and then the name of this p7 zip it is going to install it on my local system so let me run it and windows one is even simpler that is simply a zip file which you will open and run the next 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 and it is going to install it on your windows system and that is all done let me clear the screen 7-zip is installed just to double check if it is installed simply type 7z on the terminal and it is going to give you all the options of 7-zip so let's clear the screen so our 7-zip is done let's go back to our tag gui and if you remember we downloaded it in our home directory now in order to extract it there are two options either you could just use the gui so maybe just go to this folder option and then you can just file uh, find the file like this one I have downloaded it and then you can either open it with this archive manager or even uh, extract here this is a 7 zip it is going to extract it or you could use 7 zip utility by using 7 x 7 z with x switch and extract it here so let me go with the gui and you will do the same with the windows one so let's wait for it to get unextracted it is a big package so it is going to take a bit of a time to get extracted and you can see that it has now been extracted here and we have these two files now before you proceed there is one more thing i would suggest you do is to install a library for x window system so let's open the terminal and then let me deactivate this conda environment and then just install this libxcb dash cursor zero so this is um the cursor binding for x window system for x protocol so this is one of the requirements we need to install and that is done so we're all good and this is not required for windows so if you are using windows you can skip this step so let me clear the screen and that is all the installation there is to it and then in order to run it just simply double click on this tag gui it is going to open that gui on your local system there you go so this is our tag gui all installed and running and there are two ways of captioning the images with this one is manual captioning and then the other one is automatic captioning for manual captioning all you need to do is to just load your directory where your images are for example i have one sample directory where i have my images and then this is one of the directory which i will be using it is going to load this um, dogs image here and in order to caption it just on the right just, just give it any caption like dog and press enter and you can see that now we have this um, dog here and you can load multiple images which will load it on the left hand side for example i just added a new image to that directory and then i clicked on reload directory and it has identified another image so just click on that one and you can add it on you know you can even remove this one from here or you could add a new one like big dog press enter and there you have your big dog so the manual captioning is there and then of course you can save it and you can just go for search for all the tags you can sort it by different criteria so that is what manual captioning is and for the purpose of auto captioning which means that you will be using a vision model in order to label or caption or annotate these images all you need to do is to click on this auto captioner on the bottom right just click on this tab and you will see that uh, you don't have to add any tags here and then you can select your model and there are a lot of uh, good models here and we have covered most of them on the channel so we just recently did this x composer yesterday but you can select any other model like florence model is there and then a lot of good models moon dream is also there so if you want you can just select with florence to large fine-tuned version and then even you can um, give it the prompt or start caption with and these are just to customize your output for example if you use the start caption with what this will is going to do it will generate the captions which will start with the text you give it for example if i just put it here Fahad colon for example in your company you have different annotators you just put your name colon this and it is going to start the caption with that just 
uh, to differentiate different images you can even give the prompt and you could insert different variables like tag name directory here if you like but you don't have to if you don't want to and then you can select your cpu if you don't have a gpu but i don't think so that is going to work that well and there are a few advanced settings which you don't have to worry about some of the hyper parameters like temperature randomness of response output probability and stuff which we already have discussed on the channel in other videos anyway in order to get started all you need to do now after selecting your model and your images click on start auto captioning first time it is going to download the model so first time it is going to take a bit of a time after that you can simply use it it will be fast so let me run the start auto captioning and it is going to start downloading the model and then you can see the progress here as it is downloading so let's wait for it to finish it is going to take a bit of a time depending on the size of the model florence is quite good it's not that hard it's already done you see and there you go so as we were talking our caption is there so the caption is a dog is sitting in a blue bucket the dog is a light brown color and has a black nose it is sitting on the floor and its mouth is open how good is that and then um, if you already have a model by the way you could even go to files and settings and from there you could select your model this is auto captioning model directory you can simply select that and then you can also set up your font of the tags and captions what sort of images do you support tag separator if you like if you want pipe sign or any other sign as a delimiter you can use it there so this is how you install tag gui this is how you uh, auto caption it with a lot of vision models including we have just did it with the florence and you can use the same instructions on windows easily so that's it i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think i'm going to drop the link to this tag gui in video description if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot Thanks for watching.